The Bnei Menashe are the descendants of the tribe of Manasseh, one of the ten lost tribes of Israel, which was exiled from the land of Israel by the Assyrian Empire over 27 centuries ago. Thank God we've been able to bring more than 1,500 members of the Bnei Menashe home to Israel. There are still another 7,000 members of the community who are living in northeastern India and who are awaiting their turn to come home. When the Assyrian Empire uh, cast the ten tribes into exile, that they headed in an easterly direction. According to the Bnei Menashe's own oral tradition, their ancestors wandered in an eastward direction until they reached China, where they settled for several centuries. It was at that point that they were subjected to some kind of persecution on religious grounds, and they were compelled to flee China, and they headed southward and then westward and settled in what is now the northeastern part of India. Separated from mainline Judaism for millennia and without the benefit of the written scriptures, the Bnei Menashe maintained their traditions passed down orally from father to son. They always long for uh, Zion. They always long for Jerusalem. They always long for Israel, but politically, geographically, they were cut off. But the only thing that reconnects Am Israel and then Bnei Manasseh is only the emunah that they have, plus the customs and tra traditions pass on from generation to generation orally. Not because they had some problem in India. The truth is that they live a very good life in, in India. That's the truth. But the reason is because they are separate 2,700 years from Eretz Israel, from the people of Israel, the tribe of Menashe keep the mitzvah of uh, Brit Milav, circumcision. But not only the circumcision was part of the tradition, also they keep Shabbat, and part of the holidays during the year, they keep especially uh, Pesach, Passover, and Yom Kippur. They feel that during all the generations, they was part of the people of Israel. Rabbi Hanoch visited the whole congregation in India. All the Bnei Menashe want to immigrate to Israel, but many are still studying there. Shavei Israel wants to prepare them both spiritually and physically that they be ready for life in Israel. Shavei Israel is Hebrew for those who return to Israel. Uh, essentially, our goal as an organization is to reach out to uh, descendants of the Jewish people and to bring them back. Uh, chief among them is the Bnei Menashe. Shabbat Israel helps the Bnei Menashe every step of the long road from eastern India back to Israel, from transportation to paperwork in fulfillment of biblical prophecy, and he will assemble the dispersed of Israel and gather together the scattered of Judah from the four corners of the earth. I am really excited. I am really excited to reach Israel, knowing that I am going to reach Israel in 24 hours. Over the past decade, we have brought more than 1,500 members of the Bnei Menashe to Israel. They possess a, a deep faith a deep love for the land of Israel and for the God of Israel. I believe in the return of the lost tribe of Israel and also the coming of Messiah. The return of this lost tribe to Zion is nothing less than a miracle of biblical and historic proportions. When we read verses such as and the sons shall return to their borders, as the prophet Jeremiah tells us. It's not just words on a page. We are blessed to be living in a time where those words are coming to life. 
Menashe work hard, they support themselves and their families, they serve in the Israeli Defense Forces, they volunteer for combat units. From Shave Israel, I received a scholarship to study. Without that, I wouldn't be able to progress in the land. So we opened a community center specifically for the Bnei Menashe living in Kiryat Arba. Uh, where we hold a range of daily activities there for all age groups. Hebrew classes and computer training. Every afternoon there is a special program for school children who get tutoring and other educational guidance to help them integrate into the Israeli school system. We have programs for the elderly there as well. We also run a number of professional training courses uh, to assist members of the Bnei Menashe community who have come to Israel and need to learn a new skill set in order to enter the workforce here, guiding them through the bureaucracy, arranging for marriages. <laughs> when we start a new family from Bnei Menashe in Jerusalem to uh, be part of the big family of Am Israel. In my childhood, I always dreamt of getting married in the land of Israel. This is a fulfillment of the dream, and thank God with his help and with the help of Shavei Israel, today I'm getting married. I'm overjoyed. The rest of their families are still stuck in India. Nonetheless, they are not alone here, and that they are among family here, uh, the people of Israel. And we hope and pray that we will soon merit to see the return of all the Bnei Menashe in Mizoram, in Manipur, and elsewhere, every last one of them. Imherabi Amen. 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 During all the exile, the tribe of Menashe uh, keep the, uh, the, the feeling and the commitment to Eretz Israel and to, to Jerusalem. The prophet Isaiah in chapter 49 says, the Lord will call upon the nations and they will carry, the nations will carry our sons and our daughters back to the land. And I think that each and every one of us uh, who believes in the Bible, who takes the Bible seriously, has to do what we can to facilitate this process, to partner in it, to help bring it about, to help make it happen.